Well, hello again. Welcome to the VK6CS uh, Amateur Radio Channel. People have noticed that I've dropped the fun, fun with Amateur Radio Channel, but uh, I did mention on a video some time ago that uh, we'll take it for granted that we're always having fun with Amateur Radio. <coughs> right. Now, <clears throat> on the previous video, I said we needed to, uh, or I needed to just check the keying current and the keying voltage for this old amplifier. <coughs> if I survive long enough. Right. Got a trusty old meter here set to the 300 milliamp range. 300 milliamps is there. There's a three there. That last marker there is 300 milliamps, from what I can tell. <laughs> I'll just key the amplifier. There we go. So it's just about 300 milliamps. So just about 300 milliamps. So now if I just put it round to volts. I love these old analog meters. I love that sound. You don't get that anymore, do you? This was uh, personally presented to me by Vera Lynn, actually. Where's the volts range? Ohms. DC volts, here we go. Uh, it's not going to be 60 volts, I don't suppose. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Being an analog meter, I'm going to have to reverse the probes. A digital meter, of course, would just read a negative voltage, but um, I've got the probes the wrong way around for this. Okay, so now if I put that on there, huh, I had the probe the right way around. That's odd. Okay, I would have expected that to be a, oh, of course, yeah, that's off the bias supply, you muppet. Oh, wait a minute. If that's a negative voltage, I'm not going to be able to switch it with an NPN device. Yeah. Okay, so the voltage is okay. I've got to be careful here because I've got the HT on on the amp. It's 1200 volts. Right, so there we go. So we can see the voltage is 60 volts, 60 volt scale. So it's just under 20 volts that's showing on that, but it's a negative voltage. It's a negative voltage. See that? I've got the positive lead on the chassis. That's a negative voltage. So, I'm not going to be able to key it with the FT450 because an MPN transistor is not going to, uh, going to be able to turn that on. That's going to turn that transistor hard off, having a negative voltage on the collector. <coughs> I thought I had the circuit diagram here somewhere, didn't I? Is this the circuit diagram of this thing? Leave that for a sec. Uh, eat your heart out, Steven Spielberg. Right. Uh, where are we? So the relay is here, the relay voltage. This is the relay here. And the keying voltage is on this line, does it actually show it? Yeah, relay, here we go. So from there, that's the that's the point that's connected to the relay, we take to zero volts, we come down here and go along here, and up here and down through here, through the standby operate switch. <coughs> that's coming from up here, which comes down from there and it goes along to here. Negative supply. That's the bias. That's the bias adjust pot there. It's a negative voltage. So, this amplifier cannot be keyed. This amplifier cannot be keyed from the uh, FT450. The FT... <coughs> There's going to have to be a voltage-free contact on a relay between the, um, the ACU FT450 and this old amp. 
All right, now before I muck around with that, if I'm, if I'm gonna muck around putting a relay in between, then I'll probably have it so that the relay, uh, this uh, reads quite accurately, funnily enough. I, I had this on the DC range and uh, put that on there. It showed about 300 milliamps. So. <clears throat> on the 40 amp DC range, it's quite a good clamp meter, that. And uh, I love that old meter. Um, and here's a newer one. And the newer one doesn't work on the current range because I suspect some roaring buffoon not a million miles away from uh, uh, this camera and I probably tried to measure a voltage while it was on a current range and has blown the fuse. Okay, what was I saying? Got distracted. Oh yeah, so <clears throat> if, I, <coughs> if I'm gonna have a keying relay uh, between the radio and the amplifier I think I'll put a relay in that also switches the RF through the ATU. I think what I'll do first though, before I go to all that trouble, is I'll squirt a signal in the antenna port on the amplifier using a radio test set. I'll look at the signal strength on the FT450 with the tuner in and out using the bypass switch. See how many dB of received signal I'm, I'm losing uh, with the tuner in circuit. If it's significant, then I'll have the relay switching the tuner in and out. If it's not, then uh, I won't worry about it. All right, well, I uh, hope you found that interesting. Mildly entertaining. Uh, as always, uh, oh, I'll do another video. So the video following will be me with the radio test set, squirting a signal through this arrangement here, just to see what sort of attenuation I get through the tuner on the received path. Thanks for watching. I'll uh, I'll catch you next time if I'm still alive.